Well, that was pretty fun. Uh, told the guys the new era of Texas State football. I think those guys came out with uh, a bang. They believed uh, from the moment I got here. And uh, just really proud of, of uh, the players and the staff, support staff, everyone involved. Um, couldn't have done it, uh, you know, without um, all those guys. And we got Don Coriel and, and President Danfus for uh, giving me an opportunity to be the head coach here at Texas State. Really appreciate them for that. Um, just really, really happy uh, for our players and, and the university. Uh, this is a big time win, uh, beating a Big 12 opponent on the road in our first game. Yeah. You know, you, you played. You told us you weren't really sure what you were going to do before the game. How long did you actually know in the fall camp that TJ Finley is your guy? And you're going to roll? We didn't really know. Uh, Malik had a really good fall camp. I mean, uh, Don uh, Coriel asked me literally every day, and uh, it was back and forth. It really was. And uh, those guys handled it like a pro. Malik was excited for TJ tonight. I know that's tough, um, but he's he's a start. I mean, he's a, a starter, really. That's why I had the oar on there. I, I believe in, in Malik, and um, you know, I really wanted to put him in at the end of the game right there to run out the clock. But I didn't think that was fair to him. Um, but we're going to continue to use Malik, and uh, but TJ had a really good night. TJ's a, a pro. Uh, there's a lot of things we got to clean up from tonight. You know, we we turned the ball over too many times and uh, put the ball in jeopardy too many times, but. Um, I told him um, in, in pregame that our, our, our big-time guys have to make plays in this game for us to win. But I also told him we didn't have to do anything special. Uh, we just go out there and play our brand of football, and, and, uh, and that's what we did. You know, TJ coming out here and doing what he did tonight after his two previous stops, there's a lot of pressure on him at those big SEC schools for him to come out and, and kind of assert himself. I'm sure it's good for him. Do you think that was good for him to, to establish himself and show yeah. that he still can – yeah, there's no doubt. Um, he's a really good player. Like, like I told him when, when I recruited him, I think he's an NFL quarterback. I mean, he had he threw some dimes tonight, uh, converted a couple big-time fourth-down um, conversions with the pressure on, um, on the road. Um, and we had a bunch of newcomers step up. That's, I, I thought that was pretty cool to see. You see uh, uh, Ish getting a touchdown early. You see Denario going to make a play. Sean Holton getting a big interception at the end. Uh, but maybe I knew what I was talking about when I was recruiting all those guys. Yeah, it was a clean game, but, um, you know, we, we got a lot of stuff to clean up before next week. I know that. But that's a credit to our coaching staff uh, on both sides. I mean, our defense played really well tonight. Uh, I know the offense always gets the love, but our defense played really well. Got some big-time stops um, and some big-time moments tonight. But, um, man, I'm very fortunate to have the coordinators I do in all three phases. Um, those guys are, are rock stars and, and just really appreciate those guys. Um, so... Yeah. Touchdowns yeah. And, um, the, the two big turnovers late. I mean, especially when Baylor's making that many plays. I mean, how, how do you kind of tell those guys to just kind of keep their head and, and you know, stay focused? Yeah, we, we uh, I read the game notes, um, and I told those guys before the game that um, I think he's 0-2 uh, when the opponents score 40-plus points. So that was kind of our magic number. If we get to 40, we felt like, you know, statistically we'd win. So. Um, defense did a great job, and and uh, offense went out there, and and I wish we could have, I really wish we could have put it put it away on offense at the end, but it is what it is. Coach, with so many like new additions to this team, you know, bringing so many transfers along with the old players that were from last year's team, how was, was this team able to gel together and be, you know, just coming together to get a big win like this win? Yeah, I think um, our coaching staff. I think they did a great job. Uh, we recruited quality guys. We recruited big time. Uh, men of character, and, and um, you know they want to win. I think everyone had a chip on their shoulder. A lot of these guys have been rode off by other programs, and they come here and, and uh, are starting and, and making a contribution. Um, to credit to their hard work and our coaching staff. Go back to that defense. You know, even though they they were getting kind of those chunk plays, they came up with like you know big fourth down stops. Yeah. Those big, really two big turnovers at the end of the game. What was it about that defense that able, you know, being that complimentary of uh, being complimentary to that offense. Yeah, yeah. Those guys just played uh, with a lot of heart. Uh, we knew they were they were going to line up and run the ball, and and uh, I told I you know I challenged those guys to really get after the quarterback, and I felt like they did that. And when you, when you do that, good things happen. Uh, I, I I let Sean Holton break out the 
the huddle on Friday after our fast Friday, and I said, I've been to war with this guy before, and uh, he's going to make a big-time play, and, and he did. You were talking about some things you, you guys still need to clean up on, some turnovers or something. You yeah. Out. Um, what, what do you think that was behind that? Do you think it was just first-game jitters? Or yeah. Or... Yeah, yeah, first-game jitters, playing a bunch of backs. Um, you know, quarterback hasn't been hit. I don't even know what the last time TJ played, you know. Last he hasn't been hit in a while. Um, you know, so – it's just one of those first game deals, you know. There's always some growing pains, but you know, I, I think we'll make a huge improvement in uh, week two, and we got to. Obviously, we're playing a really good opponent, so. You know, obviously, it's a big win, very first game of the season. Yeah. But, you know, you don't want to. A lot of seasons left. You don't want to get too high after yeah. this is the very first game. How, how do you kind of bring these guys back down to, to, to earth? Yeah, we'll, we play a quality opponent next week, and uh, we'll have to be ready. You know, hopefully, we didn't get too banged up, and and uh, we'll be able to go out there and. and Put on another good uh, performance. What does it mean, you know, for this program that had, you know, since the FBS has been struggling to finally get over the hump? What does it mean getting that very first Power Five win over a quality opponent such such as Baylor? Oh, I think it means a lot. Um, I'm just really appreciative of, uh, you know, President Danfus and Don Coriel for giving me an opportunity. And uh, they believed in me, and I wanted to repay them back. And and uh, we we got to work the moment we got the job here, and. And uh, once again, credit to the staff and the administration and, and our players, man. Just we got a great group in there and and uh, really special group. So I'm, I'm just really excited for them. You mentioned wanting to clean up mistakes, right? How do you balance celebrating a big win like this and you know focusing on those things as well? Yeah, we'll celebrate it um, for 24 hours and we'll get back at it tomorrow. Um, we'll, we'll watch the film and run and lift and walk through some corrections and and uh, I, uh, you know, we're, we're pretty good at that, so we'll be fine. Even though we're fresh off of this win, how does Texas State go in preparing for UTSA, especially when in a rivalry game like this, the emotions get taken up almost to like 20 compared oh, to yeah. others? Yeah, I'm sure our guys will be amped up. Their guys will be amped up now. Um, they probably wouldn't have been if, if we wouldn't have won, but they'll be amped up now. So um, they're a really, really good team, top 25 team and with a uh, big-time head football coach and big-time staff. So we'll have to prepare like crazy and, and uh, you know, try to go in there and on the road again. Luckily, we'll be inside, so hopefully, you know, won't be this hot. Yeah, go ahead. I know we got, we got one more. Oh, yeah. Um, so, you know, it looked like you guys were you, you were kind of brought over that identity from Incarnate Word. How, how important was that in your game plan tonight that you wanted to maintain y'all's identity and that yep. new offense you had in the nation last year and replicating that at the FBS level? Yeah, I mean, I, I, we had the number one offense in the country. I, I don't know why we change it.